Like Leave her alone! Oh, Leave her alone! Oh, Man, think about what you're doing! Man, you just stepped on my foot! This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Freaking.com Give you a little bit more information about what happened yesterday with mass arrests in Keene. Uh, five, like something like eight arrests made yesterday, and one guy twice. That's right. <laughs> now, some of the arrests, like two or three of the arrests, were just ticketing in that they issued a summons and then let them go. Uh, but other folks were actually taken into the police station, and some of those folks, including me, ended up going to jail uh, for the night. <laughs> So the cops come back to the park where people are, are drinking based on a complaint from a citizen, so-called citizen. And then even though every, almost everyone in the park told the police, go away, we don't want you here, leave her alone, she's not hurting anybody, look, here are your constituents. Right. Or Ask here are your, use cons- or discretion, etc. Yeah, here are the people that pay your salary telling you we don't want you here, go away. Of course, it didn't persuade them. They uh, continued with their aggression against this nice young lady who was just enjoying a little bit of nipple painting and a beer uh, in the park (laughs) on a Sunday afternoon. And they (laughs) threatened her and threatened her and threatened her. So I have to issue a summons for the open container, okay? And she, by the way, who is a a keen native. Yep. uh, She's a keen native who has been activated by you guys, actually. Uh, I don't don't know about activated, but uh, I would say she's been activated. I think that's the right term. I mean, you guys uh, went to her place of business where she works. You were hanging out there, and you were taking care of uh, your your uh, your motorhome, Marv, the Mobile Authority Resistance Vehicle, in That's the correct. parking lot, just kind of parking there for a while, and so you kind of got to know Built her. a relationship, yeah. yeah. Invited her out to the nightcap one evening, which is something Pete and I started up, uh, or just had an idea of, I guess, the people who attended started it, and uh, yeah, so she just, you know, been involved, met a couple other peoples, you know, uh, right. from the area, and next thing you know... Uh, Nickel next thing you know, she's a. Next thing you know, she is a radical in love with the idea of being freedom from what I, uh, being free from what I can tell. I and, agree. Uh, and is now putting her beliefs into action and, and living like a free person. And all of this within like three weeks of her coming to the first nightcap, maybe yeah, a month. About a month, month. Uh, so it's incre- It's been an incredible story. And it's people like just as an aside, it's people like Heika. That are the real success stories of this uh, this movement of people here who are getting out and are living free and they're uh, they're engaging in just nice peaceful activities in the park like smoking a little cannabis or drinking some alcohol and and of course cleaning up after themselves and being responsible about it and uh, we get a lot of heat a lot of flack from some of the the, uh, the you know the people that are more in the into the politics thing and they're they're accusing us of uh, you know alienating people and upsetting people but. I, and I understand that's out there. I understand that any time you, you do something that's controversial, whether it's taking a stance on an issue, po- even in the political system, or doing some sort of civil disobedience, people are going to be upset by it. But I can't be who I'm not, and I'm going to be who I am because uh, I live b- by Harry Brown's silver rule, which you've heard of the golden rule before, I'm yes, sure, uh, that you do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Harry Brown's got a silver rule that uh, I like a lot, and that is that uh, you'll attract uh, people like you, basically. So if you if you be yourself, then the people who are uh, like you, similar to you, will naturally be attracted to you. And so I'm not interested in attracting people who are going to 
put on a suit and be somebody else other than themselves in order to impress some sort of politician. I want to attract people who are like me, who are willing to take the steps that are necessary to achieve a voluntary society uh, through things like civil disobedience and non-cooperation. So I, and the people that appreciate that approach, maybe not everybody that wants to do that exactly, but the people that have an appreciation for that approach to the, the freedom movement, I want to attract those people. No, I agree. And those people are the ones that we bring here that will help with like um, uh, Heiko's situations. What's, what's your first name? Does it matter? You don't have to identify yourself, Heiko. That will, I mean, it, it's a tough thing to break the mentality of, of people being indoctrinated so much by the state. But oh, yeah. I mean, I, that, here's a perfect example. I guess it, it can be done to the extent where uh, people can understand that the problem doesn't start with us coming to bring beer into the park. The problem starts with beer not being allowed in a park it's being stolen from everyone money if they really want to solve the problem of us drinking beer or smoking cannabis down there what they need to do is sell the park uh give that up to somebody we also uh, respect yeah, property point. rights and so uh, um i i think that you know when it comes down to it that at some point or another you need the sort of politicians to codify um at least in the world we live in today to codify your ability your freedom to do that it seems silly to me that some parks you can drink beer in and some parks you can't. The reason that I, I guess they just it's it's an aesthetic issue here in uh, Central Square. They don't want drunk people hanging out in the park as if oh, I don't think open... you can legally drink in any park anywhere. Um, what's the be- What about the beach in Sarasota, Florida? I mean, here in in New Hampshire or well, Keene, New Hampshire. Th- then they've got some bad laws. I mean, how come you? Yeah. What are the terrible terrible aspects of people drinking on the beach in Sarasota, Florida? I, I don't never think there's saw anything any. terrible about it. I right. Mean, that's clearly. The, yeah, that's the thing is people have people go to the beach. They have some beer. They mm-hmm. enjoy themselves. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, it's in not that. In Savannah, there's no open container law. Savannah, Georgia, you, you can walk around downtown with an open container. It's right. No it's just and, – and here in, in Keene, you can – you can drink beer on the sidewalk as long as it's at a table that's you know registered with the uh, city as being one of these sidewalk <laughs> dining yeah. tables. But yeah. you can't carry it from the restaurant to the table. A server True. has to carry the alcohol across the sidewalk for it's you. It's crazy. It's ludicrous. Right. And and how far will they go with this? I mean, like this is a line that's in a park right now. They've already pushed the businesses that are like we just said going across the sidewalk. I mean, when would they do it? At the nightcap last night, Sam, who. Uh, was asking one officer, "What if it was blankets in the park? Would you, you know, if they said no blankets in the park, would you come in here and take everybody's blankets too?" And one officer was like, "If it's still, if law, it's still law, yeah, I would, you know." And he'd be like, well, "Would you take a blanket for somebody's, you know?" And they have all these textbook answers that just, you know, roll. Just doing out my like, job. Yep, exactly. Just doing my job. If you the, don't like it, change it. You know, that kind of thing. Right, and through, you're right. Through, through the system, though, and that's not the answer. Well, I mean, maybe it is. Eventually, if the system wants to, you know, stop wasting money and stop hurting people, and somehow the people within the system come to their senses someday and and do those things, or if the political activists are successful and actually get in and and make this an issue, how how many political activists will do that? I don't know. Remains to be seen. I hope yeah, they this, have success. I wouldn't say that this issue, by the way. I mean, you know, listening to this, I I, I don't think that this is the hinge point. This is the pivot point of freedom. Well, it's a um, local issue. It's actually a keen ordinance, so it would have to be done by local. Local keen yeah. bureaucrats. Good luck with that. Hey, man. What are you doing? Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keen. While Keen may have the largest number of liberty oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit freekeen.com to see what's happening. Freekeen.com hooks you up with all the liberty media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keene, New Hampshire from the clutches of the government. Freekeen.com